Divan Nagar got issued circular regarding retirement policies. 576 new COVID-19 cases reported in Naman. Price of Hamani oil continues to rise. COVID-19 expert returned for selling clause in Naman. Oman's finance ministry issued circular on retirement of workers above 60 years of age. India becomes the seventh best hit country due to COVID-19. Referring 70% of employees who exceed 30 years of service are subjected to retirement at some levels of employment. The Ministry of Health has registered 576 new COVID 19 cases in Norman on Tuesday. Among those, 367 new cases were of experts and 209 of Omanis. The total cases in the country has now touched 12,799, including 2,812 recoveries, according to the MRH. By next August, reaching USD $40.39 on the Dubai energy market on Tuesday. The ROP has detained a number of individuals for violating the decisions of the Supreme Committee to deal with COVID-19. Ministry of Finance has issued a circular regarding the referral of workers in government companies who have exceeded age of 60 years for term. The Ministry of Finance issued a financial publication number 70 2020 to all government companies regarding the regulations of some aspects of operations. India became the seventh worst hit country due to COVID-19 pandemic as the World Health Organization COVID-19 tracker had placed the country on rank 7 in the list. India's Federal Health Ministry said that total number of cases in the country reached 2,26,770 with 7,303 deaths. This is Pranav. Thank you for watching. This is your Jawan Jones. First, the local headlines. Three rescued from house fire. Tropical depression expected to weaken over Oman. The news in detail. Firefighting teams managed to extinguish a fire that broke out in a house in South Al Batain, Gaunet, on Sunday. Weather predictions expect a gradual decline in the intensity of the tropical depression over Dofa Gaunet from today evening. The public authority for civil aviation said. Now, the world news. India to ease lockdown despite new daily infectious record. SpaceX NASA mission, astronauts on historic mission in the space station. Now, the news in detail. India will lift lockdown measures in some places from June 8, despite a record high number of cases detected nationwide on Saturday. U.S. astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benkert have talked with and entered the International Space Station. Now, the Corona updates. Omar reports 1014 cases along with 7 deaths yesterday, followed by 786 cases today. Now, the Corona updates worldwide. The world reports 6,297,410 Corona cases, followed by 374,454 deaths and 2,865,271 recovered. That's all for today. Stay home, stay safe. discusses increase in cases. Tropical depression remains concentrated over Dofa. World News COVID-19 cases surpass 1,70,000 in India. Death toll at 4,971. Sports News English Premier League matches to resume next month. Now, the news in detail. Many public and private sector employees in Muscat return to their offices after the lockdown in the capital was lifted. Locals and expats had been earlier asked to work from home to stop the spread of COVID-19. However, following the decisions of the Supreme Committee to deal with coronavirus, 50% of employees working in the city came back to their places of work. 
His Excellency Ahmad bin Mohammed Al Saidi, Minister of Health, has explained the reasons of increasing cases of COVID-19 recently in the Sultanate. A statement issued online said, "The Minister of Health said that we have noticed that there were gatherings to perform tarawih prayers and iftar during the holy month of Ramadan." The tropical depression is still concentrated over the Dofa governorate with the possibility of moving westward in the coming hours heavy thunderstorm could continue in the governorate and rainfall amounts may range between 100 and 200 mm in the next 24 hours the public authority of civil aviation said in its latest alert world news in detail the total number of covid-19 cases in india surpassed 170000 mark reaching 173763 on saturday even as the death toll stood at 4971 said the data issued by the federal health ministry as many as 265 new deaths due to covid-19 besides fresh 7964 positive cases were reported since friday in the country taking the number of deaths to 4971 and total cases to 173763 The lockdown announced on March 25 was extended for third time on May 17 till May 31. The fourth phase began from Monday. Now the sports news in detail. The matches of the English Premier League will resume on June 17, 2020. A statement issued online by Oman News Agency said the English Premier League matches will resume on Wednesday. June 17 and the return will be with Aston Villa versus Sheffield United and Manchester City versus Arsenal. The 30th stage will take place at the end of the same week. This is Chetan Kanha winding up the news. Have a good day. thousands of bikes and scooters Oman confirms 811 new cases tally a date 9820 Omani oil price decreases now in news in detail Roger Federer becomes highest paid athlete for the first time said on 22nd May he has won 130 million in prize money in his career a prototype of X book upcoming heavy lift rocket exploded on 29 May during ground tests in South Texas. Uber said it had decided to destroy all older models vehicles due to maintenance, liability and safety concerns. Oman confirmed 811 new cases on Friday 29th. 
The newly diagnosed cases include 315 Omanis and 496 foreigners. Now the price the price of Omani oil has decreased with prices for delivery by next July reaching 35.09 US, US dollars on Dubai energy market on Friday. Thank you.